Vlogtober is fun. Day nine has begun. Follow me on the adventure zone run. Although there's no adventure going on right now. 7.20 a.m. Going for breakfast. Going down, Dad. I'm so tired. Long time we're going for breakfast first. Last breakfast buffet, look at the view today. It's quite dark on the camera, but it's really quite pretty. The water's glistening with the light. It's brighter now. One more look at the nice view oh, with breakfast. We won't be here anymore. Back to England today. Ah, oh, shit. But technically, our taxi's not arriving till 10 and it's 8 30. I'm tired. Could have stayed in bed a little bit longer. Oh, and then we were rushing to get out and a whole lot of nothing, basically. It's now 10 o'clock and we're still sat here. There's no one sitting next to me anymore. We had a lovely couple just telling us all about their cruise and how much they paid and stuff, which was really cool. Dad's just gone to check um, if our taxi's here yet. I'm just, that's really boring. And it's cold now. It was it was getting sunny earlier, but then the um, it's gone a bit cloudy, so yeah. But. Oh well. Give me a new boarding card. She is rejected. Because I was rejected. And, and they wouldn't let me drop my bag, but they did in the end, so that's fine. We're going to departures now. We're just stopping in duty free. Chocolate is so expensive, actually. Everything here is really expensive. Like the Toblerone, it's two for 12 euros. 12 euros! So, um, just spending time here because I'm not going to ask you right now. I put on Why not? Um, she's gonna get some of this Spanish chocolate, uh, Spanish almond things for mum, but she, uh, those Spanish almond things, but she, she really likes it, but it's not worth five quid. Actually lost dad now. Don't know where he is. Oh, they have body shop stuff. Let's go and have a look. not really much different. Uh, the prices are all pretty much the same even though it's duty free. Maybe. Let's see, I think this is about £13 in the UK. It's 20. I think that's more expensive. It's the cutest little grey goose vodka ever. Hola, like a tiny Wi-Fi stopped working. Dad's having his egg. He's boiled egg from the from the buffet, and I we I have a I have one too, and a banana, and then we had orange juice in the bottle, but obviously because you, when you go through airport security, you can't take liquids, so we like downed the orange juice, but I mixed it with water, so it wasn't too strong. If the egg was uncooked, you couldn't bring it, could you? You could. Because then it's a liquid. No, we don't check it. Can't they see that it's a liquid on the screen? When it goes oh, through the yeah, security. I know why just now that man asked me to stand aside. Why? Because when they check me for drug. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, they think dad's know. a drug why cheat. It, why it stop me? I say I passed through it, no, no Problem. sound. Yeah. <laughs> and he still stopped me, I was wondering. But he that. stopped the lady in front of you as well. Yeah. Because old lady, you never know, some of them might be done. So, what did he say to you? Drugs? No, he... Then go to the other guy. After standing there, they check the shoe, I think. Oh, they made you take out your shoe? No, you stand on there. Ah. And then they check it, and then... Then they go to... Oh, the, the lady in front, because stupid her, she put the belt there. Oh, she got to take out her belt. Oh, so, there is a noise. And then... I stand there, then, then the drug man come and ask me, have you got a bag? I want your bag. Oh. So I have to get this bag there, do the swap. Yeah, see I put mine in the hold. You remember, long time ago in... <laughs> what egg smells? In Gatwick. Yeah. I also got... I also got... 
Looks random like a druggie. Check. I was so angry at first. You take out everything and look at one bit at a time and then you use a swap to swap it. I didn't know at the time I was so angry. Now I know the check was drug. <laughs> yeah, because you watch all those Border Force shows. Yeah. Now you are one of them. <laughs> so I just watched that plane picking up. I don't know if you can even see it. That's my finger, whatever. Up there. It's quite cool and some planes just landing. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if another plane comes to or one flies away. Why all the other? I don't know. If, I think these planes are taxiing the ones that are driving along. I think this plane is taking off. Oh, it just landed. Oh, there's one taking off at the back. I think that one just landed actually. There's one taking off at the back. Ooh, can you see it go? I'm hoping you can see it. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Where I'll be in a few hours. Another three to go or something like that. <laughs> oh look, it's turning. Yeah. Uh, pay machines are so cool. They just put the thing in yeah. and you just pay. Like you, okay. And you don't have to even worry about them handling your money. They just put it through and then that's it. Probably took me about a minute to work out this microwave to cook this thing for two minutes. So. We'll see. Um, a small thing of pasta. Dad got a sandwich, both heated up. There's a microwave there, and then uh, Dad got his toasted, and we got a Fanta. Guess how much it was? Fifteen seventy-five euros. Only. <laughs> so how many pounds is that? Twelve pounds. Thirteen pounds. Something ridiculous. Anyway, I reckon this would be. I don't know. Three four or five pounds in UK and your sandwich should be about three pounds. Are you gonna try it? It's hot. Blow it. Mm, I think this one is better. Oh. <laughs> Look at the plane! It says Sir George White. Don't know why. The name of the plane? Cool. There's a little plane over there. Look, you have tobacco, whiskey, and drink. But whiskey is the same in all languages. Our plane. It says Romeo Alpha Juliet. So I think it's called Raj. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Raj. Oh look, that door's open. Oh, we're just waiting to board because we got here really early, so we've still got time. We were just in that queue and then she was like, you can sit over there, and we we're like, okay then. No space left on Dan's back, so we are going home right now. Ah, yeah. I told you! On uh, the rest of Europe, so it's just uh, fast approaching uh, 3 o'clock. The weather in London at the moment uh, seems fairly nice. Uh, There's a light mm. uh, south easterly breeze, new scatter clouds, temperature of 16 degrees. We're almost ready to land. You can just see sky, there's nothing else there, yes, and the yes. wing. You can see the land Oh yeah, I can see it through the phone now. You can stand up a little bit. Uh, the wing's quite cool. Oh, it's like, oh, we turned. Oh, I was just going to show you the fields, but we turned. Whee! Can you see? Probably not. Turn back to the fields, yay! They're so pretty, oh, wow. so green. Back in London. <laughs> now we have to queue and wait for everyone to get on. We're already in the back of the plane. Oh, got stuck behind passport control because he left his passport, his old passport, which has his permanent residency in this bag, which had to go through the hold, which is supposed to be cabin baggage. Anyway, so I've had to come out through passport control and then come and collect the bags and there's one bag that hasn't come yet and I bet you it's going to be like the last one, isn't it? Yay, we finally got picked up. Thank you for leaving Malaysia. There's this five-year-old boy. Mommy took her to kindergarten just in front of the kindergarten. She was stopped. Mommy was stopped. the child and mommy walked out of the car already and then there's two Malay guys, one of the Malay guys. Ask her about instruction to go somewhere. And steal the child. They steal the child, yeah. 
Oh man. They still the child. The child was lost for about 18 hours or 8 hours. I can't remember now. Yeah. And the they report to the police and everything because in front of the school the garden gate. Yeah. The CCTV. Yeah. Everything was shown. They even took the car's number and everything. Uh huh. Probably because they got found out, so they just yeah. sent them back so that they, they wouldn't be able to be chased. They called the taxi man to go and bring the child back. They somehow give, give the child to the home address. How can they know where the child lives? Yeah. They must be eyeing on the child for the long time. Two Malay men. Hello, my hair is up in... Ugh, I've got a horrible face right now, so I'm not going to show you my face. Well, you kind of just saw it, but it's a bit anyway. But um, I'm home now, just had a shower, and my hair is like washed and everything, and I feel so good, and it's nice to be back on land, although I do feel a little bit wobbly um, from being on the ship. I don't know, I feel like I'm moving when I'm clearly not, because this is solid land. But hey-ho, um, mum's just cooking dinner now, and then we're going to have some dinner. And I'm so tired, and then I just spoiled Great British Bake Off myself because my friend put, she did put spoiler alert on her Facebook post, but she posted a picture, and if you're going to post a picture, post it in the comments so that you don't see it. Ugh, so I was scrolling through, and I saw it, and I was like, damn! And so now I don't know if I can be bothered to watch it because I know who won. Ugh. And then I've got to catch up with some other TV shows and things like Big Bang Theory I'm really excited about too. So, woo! And Scream Queens. Ugh, so much fun. But I'm actually really tired, so I'm not sure if I'm even going to stay up that late to watch TV. Just um, have dinner and go to bed because we're actually an hour behind now because obviously um, going to Spain, it changes one hour forwards it takes one hour like spain is in a different zone to uk um just like some of america as i'm sure you guys know um so yeah i know i'm sorry it's really bad that i always assume that you were in america um it's just that a majority of my viewers are british or american so that's just the way it is but yeah i think i'm just gonna go to bed now so i will well i mean after dinner and that i don't think anything else is gonna happen after today so i'm just gonna say goodbye now and hope you are well and i'll see you again tomorrow bye i don't know why i didn't say bye but i'm saying it now bye